every part of an F1 car's bodywork is aerodynamically shaped. A streamlined car cuts through the air better. But F1 aerodynamics also need to produce downforce. Downforce is the effect of air pushing the car onto the track. It's vitally important in Formula One. The cars are so fast that without downforce, they would be virtually undrivable. But if you can get the aerodynamic setup right, the wheels hug the road and the car grips well in the corners, that equals speed on track. The front wing is particularly important. It is essentially the reverse of an aeroplane wing. Instead of giving lift, a Formula One wing forces the car downwards. The front wing has a big effect on the flow further down the car. And when it's balanced with the, with the rear wing and with the, the floor of the car, we end up with a package which ultimately will go around corners a lot faster. At top speed, the car's aerodynamic downforce enables a cornering force of three and a half times its own weight. Which means, in theory, an F1 car could drive on a road upside down. Early Wednesday morning. Jason's junior designers have called him to an urgent meeting. They've spent weeks working on an innovative new front wing design, and it's looking good in computer testing. Well, we've got, as you can see, very significant gain on the prospective F12 front wing. It will give us a greater mass flow into the inboard portion of the end plate, which is something we've been looking to develop all season. It looks to be a really good step for us in that region. OK. I think we should take this to the, to the tunnel and get some, um, get some winter results. Jason believes the designers are onto something but he needs more than computer theory. This is the wind tunnel. The wind tunnel is one of the most prestigious and effective facilities at Williams, allowing the team to get real physical data on aerodynamic performance. It's the envy of many teams on the grid. To save on time and materials, the test model of the car is made to 60% scale. Specialist model makers produce perfect downsized replicas of new aerodynamic parts. As the rolling road powers up and the wind speeds over the model, a guide arm feeds information to Jason and the technicians. They can tell how hard the car is pulling towards the track. So we've got a good improvement in downforce. Well, if we have a good day in the wind tunnel, we typically find of the order of one-tenth of a second of lap time for the average Grand Prix. So that would be, be a good day for us. So, OK, so we've got improved performance across the range. OK. The new front wing is providing improved downforce. Jason now knows he's got something. Well, the wind tunnel results look very good. Um, from here, I think we're going to go and chat with the...